shouldn't be doing this. Because it's insane, that's why. No, it might actually top the soiree thing for your stupidest plan of all time. That's how completely fucking nuts this is. No, let's review. You can't see shit. You have no flashlight or phone to light your way, and you've conned me into helping you search this place for vampires, all because you suspect that one might, might, have cut the power to the hotel or murdered the staff before they could start the backup generator that they may or may not have, or else have been running this place the whole time, and this entire hotel is basically just a self-stocking pantry. And for anyone else... Those theories would be insane. But with your luck, it's probably something even worse that we haven't even thought of. Not to mention, again, you can't see shit, so you're literally fighting blind. So please, explain to me how this doesn't end with you mauled to death. You'll figure it out, sure. You're counting on me stepping in, aren't you? right turn. Look, I've held out through a lot of insanity on this trip, alright? A lot. More than anyone could possibly have expected of me. So when I say this is fucking nuts and we should go back to the lobby, you should believe me. Well, I'd still be there if I didn't think you'd fashion a torch out of a fire poker and a spare shirt start storming the place room by room. At least this way, I'm reasonably sure you won't burn the place down. Well, I've got odds at 30%. That's low for you. Fuck, hold on. Lost it again. Oh, I don't know. Maybe... It's because I have a mouth-watering little human literally holding my fucking hand. And that's kind of clouding my senses a little. I'm doing my fucking best here, okay? You're lucky we have a lead at all. Basically convinced myself that I'd imagined it when I smelled something outside of our room earlier. And I've told you... Hotels... Are a lot... There's a hundred different scents in this hallway. If a trail was hard to follow anywhere else like this, I'd say it was days old. <sighs> okay, another right. Do you even have your weapons? No, aside from the dart gun, I know you have that. Oh. What? No, I just didn't think you had them on you. Okay, yeah, I realize that was a stupid assumption. Thank you. The only time I've ever seen you weaponless was after the auction, and that was very much not on purpose on your part. I don't know what I was thinking. Well, I say you should examine your constant need to be armed with a therapist. But having traveled with you for a while, I actually think having a stake at all times might be justified. Well, almost all times. You don't take that shit in the shower with you, do you? Wait. Shit. Nothing, just, uh... Don't be mad. I smell blood up ahead. Good shit, dude. And a lot of it. Fuck, that smells incredible. Ow! Fuck, how are your blows still so accurate when you can't see shit? Alright, alright, Jesus. We're going. It's just a bed. I'm warning you right now, though. I don't think they're saving whoever that is. Not when I can smell that much blood. 
I don't know. It's just another room. Looks like lock's been dismantled, so we can just walk in. And presumably show good our killer. Okay, look, I know I'm a terrible person, and I can't exactly ask what I did to deserve this, but also, what the fuck did I do to deserve this? Oh, she's so fucking dead. And a mess. No, doesn't look like she was bitten, just... stabbed. A lot. She hasn't been dead very long. I bet she's still warm. Oh, come on, Hunter, please. What would it even hurt at this point? It's not like she can get any more dead. Leaving her would just be a waste. The fuck do I care about forensics? What, are you going to dust the body for fingerprints? Let go of me, Hunter. Or I'll make you. I'm doing this whether you like it or not. Let go, you fucking... There. Don't move, or you'll trip over the corpse. Then, you'll really fuck up the evidence. It'll be fine, Cupcake. Relax. Your heart's going down near double time. Just try to breathe. This will be over in a minute. Jesus, she's fresh. Pliant and warm and... Mmm. I'm almost done. Seriously, Hunter, the damage is done already. Just let me finish in peace. We can catch up with this killer in a minute. The more you interrupt me, the longer this is gonna take, okay? God, could you be any more fucking annoying? Okay. Hey, 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 look at me. Or, um, shit, okay, you can't look at me, that's fine. Keep your eyes open, okay, that's all you've gotta do. Okay, good, good job. Now, keep that up while I get a good look at the, um, the, oh, fuck. Hey, no, you're fine, you're fine. It's, it's not that bad, all right? Barely even bleeding, just hold still. Sorry about your shirt, I just need to get at the wound. Don't stab me for this. Shh, 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 shh. It's okay. I know it hurts, alright, but I need to do this. I'll slow the bleeding down. <laughs> yeah, that's me. Always taking advantage. Lecture me later, alright? Let me finish first. Better. Well, I still need to put pressure on it. Can you help me out here? I'm putting fabric in your hand, and it's over the wound now, and you just... I need you to press down. And I can carry you out of here, alright? Fuck. Fuck. Hey, no, 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 no. Sorry. Everything's okay. You're okay. Brace yourself. I'm gonna lift you. Okay? I know, I know, it hurts. You're doing so well, though. Who's the big strong hunter? That's right. It's you. 
You're gonna be fine. You're gonna be fine. Just don't, don't, don't try to talk, okay? You can yell at me later. Eh. Yeah. Later. I mean, clearly, you're not hurt that badly, or I wouldn't have stopped with just licking the wound, right? If you were bleeding out, I wouldn't be bothering with any of this. No, no. I'd just be draining it. Cupcake. Cupcake, eyes open. There. There you are. Okay. I'm gonna talk, okay? So you have something to focus on. Fuck. What do I talk about? Plants. We'll talk about plants. Where are we going from here? The storm's still fucking awful. So I can't take you out in this. No ambulance is getting out here either. There's no way they have the medical supplies on hand here to fix your, um... Definitely not concerning at all. Stab wound. Barely even a stab. More like, a um, paper cut, really. Fuck. What do I do? I don't know what to do. Not used to having to prevent hunters from dying on me. This is completely new territory here. I could... No. But... Fuck. No, you'd never forgive me, would you? You'd probably walk out into the sun as soon as you got the chance. No, no. I need to get you out of here. Somehow. First things first. I'm gonna get some actual bandages on you because you are not holding enough pressure. Damn it, and yet another thing I'm going to have to apologize for. Jesus. I can't be held responsible though, alright? The first thing that came on was motherfucking don't stop believing. And frankly, punching the radio was an underreaction to that bullshit given the extremely stressful circumstances. Besides, all I did was crack the screen. That's replaceable, right? Fuck, you're gonna be so pissed at me when you realize I've fucked up your car. And if it wasn't for the whole vampire strength thing, the wheel would have been yanked out of my hands a hundred times over by now. Fuck. This wind is insane. Do you have any idea how close we've come to crashing? Lucky there aren't any other cars on the road right now. Or <laughs> not lucky, I guess. Because it's not luck. It's just that no other idiotic maniac would be out driving in this fucking storm. No, no. I didn't steal the phone, okay? I am borrowing it because the owner is indisposed. No, I don't mean dead. But I will pretty fucking soon if you don't tell me where to go. It's not a fucking threat. It's just what's actively happening. Cupcake's bleeding out in the back seat. I don't have anywhere else we can go, okay? I swear. You can do whatever you want to me once we get there. I just... I need you to help. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, all right. I can pull that up if you just give me a... I need you to be okay. Okay. You hear me, Cupcake? You aren't allowed to die on me. Not now. Not like this. I've got dibs, remember? So if anyone's taking you out, it's me. Not some random human murderer. So you can't die like this. You're gonna make it. Please make it. I'm sorry. 
Okay. I'm sorry. I said I didn't care about you. I was just... I was angry. All right, I was angry, and I was hungry, and I didn't mean it. Then you got me that stupid fucking card. You remembered my stupid fucking birthday, and I still didn't apologize. What kind of asshole am I? So no, you can't die. You can't die until I apologize. I'm not letting you die thinking that you don't matter to me. So just be okay, please. Just hold on, please, until we get there. I am begging you. Bad enough while didn't give me a book or something to entertain myself with. Do they have to listen to that? I suppose I deserve this. And this has got to be some sort of cosmic joke on me. I just know it. The first human I give a shit about in decades gets stabbed. Now, I'm cuffed to a wall, being forced to listen to fucking Journey. Honestly, I'm not sure which is worse. <laughs> yeah, I know which is worse. Still, someone up there is definitely pissed at me. Probably because of all the murder. You'd be making fun of me if you were conscious right now, I bet. Really rubbing my nose in it. I'll tell you what, let's make a deal. If you open your eyes, I promise I will comply with every stupid little rule you have about feeding, okay? I'll stick to the bags. I won't try to sneak off and eat people. I'll even keep some of my complaints to myself. Not all of them, though. If I tried that, I might just explode from the... Bitchiness build up, and that won't serve either of us in the long run. Oh shit. Shit. Cupcake, hey, you're awake. What? Oh, please. Yeah, I guess <laughs> Wild didn't trust me not to try anything, so, yeah. The cops burnt like hell, but at least I have enough blood in me to heal them right now. But fuck me, right? How are you feeling? Oh, yeah. Wild's got you on the good pain meds. Still wouldn't try sitting up, though. You, um... You lost a lot of blood. Well, uh, how much do you remember? Hmm. Well, no, turns out that was, um, frustratingly mundane at the end of it all. Some human with a pair of night vision goggles and a grudge against his ex-wife needed the power out, so he had an opportunity to break into her room without any security cameras catching him. So, he fucked up the breakers. He had a window of opportunity, sneak in and out while the hotel staff were trying to fix the damage and everyone staying there would just assume it was a regular outage because of the storm. The trail I was following was old. It was a total coincidence. Vampire had been staying there in the past few days. But we would have been totally fine if your heroic ass didn't insist on searching the hotel for danger. The lights would have come back on, they would have found the body, and the human cops would have arrested Mr. Vengeful X. Or not. Wouldn't have mattered either way. The important thing is your dumbass hero complex wouldn't have gotten you stabbed. No. It's not fair. If I hadn't insisted on stopping to feed, I wouldn't have left you defenseless. In the dark. And I don't think he would have prioritized stabbing us over sneaking away. 
if he hadn't seen me drinking his ex. I don't know if he realized what I was or if he just thought I was on bath salts or something. But he freaked the fuck out either way. Hmm? No. Oh, no. He's, uh, he's very dead. No, no, I'm sure. I broke his neck. Are you seriously gonna give me shit about that? He stabbed you. Cupcake, you almost died. If Wild lived any further away, you would have died. Yeah, this is Wild's back room. He patched you up. They even had the decency to wait until after they were done fixing you to cuff me. Though I think that was just because they needed the extra pair of hands. Oh no, Wilde did not want to give out their address. Apparently the best anti-vampire weaponsmith in the country wasn't too thrilled about a vampire knowing where to find them. Who knew? Especially since I, um... May have been looking for them for a few years now. Obviously for normal, non-murdery purposes. Listen, I've been caught on the wrong end of way too many of their gadgets to not have a bit of a grudge, okay? You're lucky they like you so much. It's the only reason they agreed to help. I guess after you get better, they'll be moving their whole operation somewhere else, just in case. Paranoid little bastard. No, I, um, didn't start with their number. Started going through every contact on your phone on the way to the hospital, hoping I could turn up some closer help. May or may not have called your old boss in the process, by the way. Good news. Hung up before she could hear my voice. Bad news, I hung up on your boss. You wouldn't have made it to the hospital. It was bad. Very bad. All right? And given the storm, we were an hour's drive away. More on a good day. Also, um, there's a lot of blood over your backseat. Probably won't come out. And I maybe broke your radio. A little. I know, I know, I know we just got it working again. It's a long story, okay? The important thing is, is that your car is fixable and you're still alive. Muzzle tough. I, um, I have something I need to say to you, but I think it should wait until you're not loopy on painkillers. If I say it now, I feel like it's kind of cheating since I'm... Not sure you're going to remember it later. So, yeah. We'll wait on that one until you're feeling better. Don't give me that shit. You are high as fuck right now. You should see your face, Cupcakes. Your pupils are blown out as all hell. <laughs> you look like a vampire sending fresh blood. Hey, mirrors may have stopped working on me, but I still have eyes, all right? I've seen other vamps with their prey. We look like little tabbies who just caught a catnip mouse. Not too proud to admit it, but it's kind of hilarious. It really undercuts the whole deadly predator thing a little bit. Not too much, though. Cats are still tiny killing machines, and... We are less tiny killing machines. If you're imagining me chasing a laser pointer, quit it. No, it's fine. I'll just get you back for it once I'm not cuffed. Hmm? No, I was supposed to call for a while the second you woke up. Fuck that bastard, right? 
They couldn't even leave me a magazine to flip through, and you've been out for hours. Do you want to know the exact number of fibers in this carpet? Because I've been making decent headway and figuring that one out. Fine. Don't want you straining your voice. But, um, just between us before I call them in here. I'm really glad you're okay. <clears throat> hey, wild, sleeping beauty's awake. How am I supposed to snarl? Do I have to snarl? Do I have to do it? <sighs> <laughs> <laughs> that sounded better, but I don't know how to snarl. Is it like a? Is it like a? <sighs> is that a vampire snarl? Is it like a hiss? Do I go? <sighs> Do I sound like a cringe ass cat? I don't know. <laughs>